Today we will perform the annual testing of Cosper Sarsat Eperb as it is required by SOLAS Convention. The volume and order of the tests are described in a more circular 1040 and we will follow it. First of all, we need to carry out the visual inspection of a perp to be sure it has no damages. Check the lanyard firmly attached and not tight. Then we need to perform the self-test routine as required to be sure the beacon is operable. Well, we see it indicates it's OK, but we will check it. We need to perform electrical tests to confirm the EPIRB is operational as defined in appropriate performance standards. And for these purposes we require the suitable test equipment, EPIRB tester. Fortunately, we have three testers today. Photronic, made by Danfon, and two testers made by Muson Marine. Beacon Tester and Beacon Tester Mini. The task is to measure the frequency, power level and decode COSPAS SERSAT message content. First of all, let's turn on all of our testers and switch them to proper test mode. Ok, let's start with Foodtronic. We need to go to the EPIRB test menu. Select the proper frequency. Ok, now it's ready to perform tests. Let's do the same with the beacon tester of Muson Marine. We are going to the test menu, select by antenna, select proper channel. Uh, it's ok, it's ready for receiving the signal too. And finally, let's turn on the beacon tester mini. We need to select the perform test menu and just press start new test button. Ok, it's ready to perform tests. We placed the EPIRB on recommended distance of 1.5 meters. Now we take the beacon and turn it to the self-test mode, what is strongly recommended for testing purposes. And now we are waiting for its signal. Here we are. We see that all three testers received the signal successfully. Let's check the results. Let's check photonic for the decoded and measured data. We see the frequency and power level. 15 hex beacon identifier. Can't record at message type. Protocol type. MSI code and beacon number on the vessel. The home device is present. And other additional data. Now let's check the beacon tester results. We see the decoded data of the Kaspasar SAT message, such as beacon hex identifier, protocol type, MMSA code, country code, beacon number on the vessel. Let's check the electrical data. We see power level in dBm, frequency in kilohertz, complete message content in hex format, phase meanings, time of preamble, and total time of transmission in milliseconds. Finally, let's see what we have on Beacon Tester Mini. Here are frequency in kilohertz, power level in dBm, Complete message contact in hex format, country code, a third operational mode, BGH code verified, message format, protocol type, MMSI code, home and channel present, time of preamble, and the total transmission time. I think we have enough data of Cospas Sarsat channel, but let's check the home and channel. Let's switch them to proper test mode. Ok, they are ready. I think we have enough data of COSPAR's SARSAT channel, but let's check the homing signal presence frequency. Let's switch them to proper test mode. Ok. They are ready. 
let's turn the beacon on to the test mode. And we see the homing signal is received by all three testers. Let's check the results. We see the measured frequency and power levels of the homing signal. Here. And here. We can perform audio control of homing channel. So let's do it. Now we hear audio confirmation of its presence. At the end, do not forget to check the battery expiration date. It's here. And replace, if necessary, the batteries. Also, check the expiration date of hydrostatic release unit and replace if necessary. We think we have enough data required to create test reports to confirm that EPERB passed the annual test and can be used in emergency situations. So now let's create the test report uh, by Beacon Tester of Muson Marine. To do so, we need to connect the tester to personal computer by means of USB then to run the software uh, it's done then we need to download the data inside the tester okay it's ready we see the test results we have measured previously uh, and for further action is to create their annual uh, here we have annual certificate uh, second i will do some name Okay, it's ready. So let's see. We have the test result, annual test report created by the investor. So, unfortunately, after a long time and much efforts, we failed to connect the Futronic to PC to computer as uh, we have two old version that uh, needs to be updated and we cannot do it. So the test uh, report has to be made by hands manually and we will not do it. So now let's proceed with Beacon Tester Mini. It is very easy to create the test report and we can do it on the fly as connection to PC is not required. Just complete the fields and press annual test report here it is we will print it later hope this video was useful for you thanks for attention